So, gentlemen, in the book, these answers are rubbish, apparently. Um, but if you get to your left hand side equals the right side, that's that's almost your answer. Like you've actually done it. Okay, you've proved it. So this is this is one you guys, uh, some of you are struggling with anyway. And if, as soon as I do it, you'll probably go, oh, is that all? And so, I mean, there's lots of ways of do, doing it, but sometimes if you get stuck, turning into sines and cosines might be the way forward. So tan x is the same as sine over cos, okay? So that's going to be sine x over cos x times cos squared x. Can everyone see what that's going to become? What's that going to become? Sine x cos x. Can everyone see one of those is going to cancel with, with itself? Cot cosine x over sine x times sine squared Happy with that? Besides the poor handwriting, you were happy with that so far? Okay, so this is like when, when I think I've said it before, but cos squared x is the same as cos x all squared. We write the squared just here because if we wrote it there, if I wrote it there, what would that mean? Yeah, as opposed to being the the cos part that's being squared. Okay, so that just means cos x times cos x. So there are two cos x's up here and one there, so they will cancel each other. Happy? One sine will cancel with one sine. I'm left with sine x cos x minus cos x times sine x. Sine times cos minus cos times sine. Isn't that just zero? So therefore what have I actually done? I've done that proof. Okay. Okay, so that's that's three examples now. Do you sort of, are you starting to see the process that you can go through? Yep. You're happy with that? Is there another one you want me to go through?